ABC News exclusive tonight, the second woman who accused Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker of pressuring her to have an abortion, speaking on camera tonight for the first time with our Juju Chang. Walker, who has campaigned against abortion rights, his response tonight, and what she brought to the interview. Here's Judy Chang. Tonight, the second woman to accuse Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker of paying for an abortion, appearing on camera for the first time in an interview with ABC News. I've kept this to myself for 30 years. Um, I protected him. At her request, we agreed to call her Jane Doe. She claimed she had a six-year affair with Walker that began in the late 80s when he was married to his first wife. In 1993, she says she got pregnant. He was very clear that he did not want me to have the child. And he said that, he said that because of his wife's family and powerful people around him that I would not be safe and that the child would not be safe. That's very menacing. It is very menacing. It is very menacing. And I felt threatened and I, I thought I had no choice. She tells us she went to the abortion clinic but couldn't go through with it, claiming that when she later told Walker, he became upset. He came to my house and picked me up and drove me to the clinic. And I went in alone and he waited in the car while I went in and had the procedure. Jane Doe says Walker gave her cash to pay for the abortion. She has no records or receipts of the payment or the procedure. Walker today denounced her claims as a lie from some woman I do not know. Now they just going crazy right now, are they not? I'm like, wow, man, I'm doing things I never knew I even done before, but it's okay because we only got a couple of days left. Though Walker says he does not know her, Jane Doe showed us cards and letters she said she received from him. She showed us hotel receipts from that era, and this photo she took of Walker asleep. She shared a voicemail she says he left her when he went to the Olympic Games in 1992. I want to say I love you, and I was thinking about you. Jane Doe's lawyer, Gloria Allred, put us in touch with two women who told us that in the 1990s, Jane Doe confided in them about her relationship with Walker and her pregnancy. One of those women told us she took this picture of Jane Doe and Walker at a conference in 2019. He embraced her, and that embrace, it was very emotional. Um, it, it lasted longer than a normal embrace. Jane Doe is a registered independent who told us she voted for Donald Trump in 2016 and 2020. She says she decided to come forward now after watching Walker deny another woman's claim that he paid for her abortion too. As a candidate, Walker is a staunch opponent of abortion rights. That is the height of hypocr hypocrisy, the height of hypocrisy. Why is it hypocritical? He's saying one thing and doing another. And so let's bring in Nightline anchor Juju Chang tonight. And Juju, of course, as you know, this race is so close in Georgia. It could determine the control of the Senate. Uh, what are we hearing from Herschel Walker's opponent tonight, Senator Raphael Warnock? Well, as you know, David, it is essentially a toss-up. And today, Walker's opponent, the Reverend Raphael Warnock, said that Herschel Walker is not only not ready for the job, he's not fit because he repeatedly lies about the basic facts of his life. He says character matters. David. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.